What's up, what's up, what's up? Good morning, everybody. How's it going? All right, this is my first time on YouTube Live. I, uh, I have got my webcam here, but I can't figure out how to use the webcam. So I might just have to use this, uh, this a little bit lower quality video for today. Hopefully we can still get a nice practice in. But for time's sake, I don't want to keep us uh, I don't want to keep us waiting for too long. Let's make sure that we don't have anybody on Zoom waiting for us. I know Hannah's on there. If you're here on YouTube, say what's up. Drop a comment. Let me know who's here. And we'll get started with our practice in just a second. Alrighty, let's do this. Come to child's pose, please. Bring your knees wide, sit back on your heels, and let your forehead rest on the earth. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth and exhale. Twice more, deep breath in. Open your mouth, let it go. One more full breath and expand your upper back. And open mouth release. Seal your lips now, breathe in through your nose. And breathe out the nose. Good, inhale. Exhale. A few more deep breaths just like that and set an intention for your practice this morning. Ask yourself what you need today. What brings you to your mat right now? Today is a beautiful day. It's a good day to have a good day. And it's awesome that we get to start it here together on your mat. So let this next 30 minutes be all about you in a very non-selfish way. Let this be an opportunity to take care of yourself, to feel good in your body and to feel good in your mind. So feel free to take variations of the postures here. Feel free to modify your practice or take a break whenever you need to. If at any point you want to come back to this child's pose, you're welcome to do that and stay here for as long as you need to and then join us when you're ready. For now, let's get the body moving. Come forward to a tabletop as you inhale and find a place where your wrists are under your shoulders and your knees are under your hips. Start to move through some cat cows here. So inhale to lift the chest, roll the shoulders back, tuck your toes and start to look up. Good. Exhale, round your back. Press the top of the feet down and gaze toward your belly button. Keep going just like that. Inhale, tuck your toes, lift your chest, stick your tail out and look up. And then exhale, round your back, tuck your chin to your chest and lift up through your navel. One more time. Inhale, big openness through the heart, rolling the shoulders down the back. And then exhale, pressing the ground away, rounding as you bring your chin towards your chest. Good, back to a neutral spine as you bring in, as you breathe in. And then bring your hands about six inches forward. Go ahead and tuck your toes, lift the hips up and back, breathe out. In your first downward dog here, start to shake the hips out, go side to side, bend one knee, and then bend the other knee. Rock back and forth. Deep breath into your back body. Deep breath out. Deep breath in, out, one more full inhale, 
and a full exhale. Beautiful. Inhale, bring the right foot forward in between your hands. And if you need to use your right hand to help you get it up, you can do that. And then lower the back knee to the earth. Untuck the back toes, so press the top of the back foot into the ground, and then start to climb your right leg. Hands can come onto the right thigh, and press the left hip forward and down. Now, I want to engage the left glute a little bit here and start to tuck the tailbone underneath me to open up the front of the left hip crease. And now my right hand will stay on the knee for now. Start to lift the left arm up over your head as you continue to engage the left side of the glute, tucking the tailbone, then pushing the hip forward, and then continue to lift up through the left hand. If you wish, the right hand can join it as well. Deep breath in. Breathing out. Good, deep breath in. Bring your pinkies towards each other a little bit. And then exhale, relax the shoulders down the back. One more full inhale. And then exhale. Really nice. Place your hands back down on the mat. Inhale on either side of your right foot. And then exhale, straighten the right leg. Start to sit the hips back toward the left, uh, left knee. So the hips are stacked over the left knee. Flexing through the right toes. Draw the right hip back and lengthen the back of the right leg. So that flexion helps you extend through the back of the leg. Deep breath in as the heart comes forward. The right hip draws back. And then as you exhale, the navel comes in, start to fold over the knee. See, I have a little bit of a bend in my right knee here. That's okay. Breathe in. Breathing out. Soften through your elbows. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale, bend the right knee, come back to the lunge with hands on either side of the right foot. And exhale, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, and step the right foot back, come to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in here. And as you exhale, spread the fingers and push your hands down. Good, come to a plank pose. Inhale, I come high on the tippy toes, round the back, roll myself forward and then slowly lower myself all the way down to the earth. Lie in the stomach, point your feet. They can be a little bit of uh, maybe six inches or so in between your feet, about hips width distance apart. And then just start to press into the hands slightly and press into the feet also. Coming into a gentle cobra pose here. My gaze is forward, my chest is lifted, and you're pressing the feet down so the kneecaps start to lift up, but the glutes will be soft. When you can relax the glutes, it's gonna help you to extend a little bit more deeply through the lower back. Because if your glutes are too tight, it's gonna jack up the low back. Good, keep lifting up through the sternum, drawing in through the navel, and pressing a little bit more firmly into the hands so you come up slightly higher. Deep breath in. And then exhale, come back, back to your forehead. Inhale, tuck your toes. And exhale, press your seat back to your heels and then lift the hips up to downward facing dog. Shake it out. On your next inhale, step the left foot forward in between your hands, find that lunge. Use your left hand to bring the foot forward if you need to, so the ankle is under the knee, and then exhale, lower the right knee to the earth. I'll untuck the right toes, press the top of the right foot down, that'll give me some stability. Left hand to the left knee, right hand to the left knee. Squeeze the right glute, tuck the tailbone a little bit underneath you to create some tension in the front of the right hip flexors. As I tuck the tailbone, press the hips forward, I'll start to reach the right arm up over my head, and that will start to create a little bit more length on the right side of the body here. Good, breathing in. Breathing out, option, left hand can come up. Breathe in, lift through the fingers. Breathe out, relax through the shoulders. Inhale, the pinkies spiral towards each other. Exhale. Take one more full breath here. Really nice. Place your hands down on the earth. Inhale on either side of the left foot. And then exhale, straighten the left leg so that your hips go over the right knee. Flex through the left toes as you draw them towards your left knee. Option to keep the left knee bent here. And if you need to slide the left foot forward a little bit, you can go ahead and do that. So the hips are back. The heart is forward. The navel is in. Breathe in. 
And then as you exhale, start to fold over the left leg. Deep breath in. Try to get your hands down if you can. If you can. Blocks can be really helpful here as well. And breathe. But as best as you can, if you can get your palms flat, either on the mat or on blocks, it just gives you more stability so that the, the hamstrings are, it's, they're more supported. So it's easier for them to stretch because otherwise they're also trying to stabilize you at the same time. So if you use your hands and your back right foot to stabilize, then that will allow your hamstrings to open up even just a little bit more. Deep breath in deep breath out. Bend the left knee as you come forward. Place your hands down, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, and step the left foot back to downward facing dog. Shake the hips out. Beautiful. On your next inhale, roll it out to a plank pose. Try to go one vertebrae at a time. So you're making sort of like this slow wave through your spine. And then exhale, lower all the way to the earth. The gaze is forward, the heart is forward, the elbows are back, and then you come all the way down to your belly. Point the feet. This time your hands will go a little bit wider than the mat, and then come up onto your fingertips. So the elbows go straight up in the air, my feet are pointed, pressing the top of the feet down so the kneecaps lift. So now my elbows are at 90 degrees, and my palms are up because my fingertips are pressing down. I'll start to lift up through the chest as I press into the fingertips. So I'm in this sort of extended cobra pose here. And then I'll lower my left shoulder towards the earth, not all the way down, but just a little bit, and look up past the right shoulder. Awesome. Take a deep breath in. Feel the stretch in the left side of your chest. Deep breath out. Back to center, inhale. Lift your chest up, look down the middle. And then exhale, lower your right shoulder towards the earth and look up past the left shoulder. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Back to the middle. Inhale, lift your chest up. Let's go one more time each side. Lower the left shoulder towards the earth and look up past the right shoulder. Deep breath in. Press your feet down. Deep breath out. Soften the glutes. Awesome. Back down the middle. Inhale. Press into your fingers. Lift your chest. And then exhale. Lower the right shoulder. Look up past the left. Deep breath in. Push the feet down. Roll the ankles in. And exhale. Back to the middle one more time. Press, press, press into your fingers. Lift, lift, lift the chest. Good. Nice back bend there. Exhale. Come back down onto your forehead. Inhale. Your hands go back down underneath the shoulders. Tuck your toes. Exhale. Sit back in your heels. And then lift the hips up. Come to downward facing dog, please. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, bend your knees. Look forward. Just take a walk to the front of your mat. Feet can be about hips width distance apart once you get there. And you'll stay in the forward fold. So every time you walk forward, hands stay down. Inhale, halfway lift. For some of us, that means hands on the shins so that you can flatten your back out a little bit. Straighten the legs, straighten the arms. Wrap the elbows back. Flirt the heart forward and lengthen the tailbone back. Gaze up. Take a deep breath and lift up through your lower belly. Draw it in. And then exhale, fold forward. You can bend your knees if you need to. If you want to grab opposite elbows, you can sway a little bit side to side. First forward fold here of the morning for most of us. Relax the neck. Gently nod it. Yes. And then shake it now. Remember, your goal is to feel good in your own body. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Really nice. Use your hands if you need to, but bend your knees and slowly roll on up to stand. If your back hurts, you might put your hands on your knees just to help you a little bit. Rolling on up, shoulders come up and back. And then bring your feet about hips width distance apart here. Toes turn slightly out. Actually, let's do this. I wanna take it into a goddess pose next. So we'll take it, it's kind of like a wide horse stance. The toes are gonna to be turned out on an angle. The feet are in a straight line. The knees are gonna to start to open up wide to the side 
and then my hands can come to prayer at heart center or on the knees if you need a little bit more support. Start to shift the weight from side to side here. The chest stays lifted, the shoulders stay back, and I'm using the outer glutes to press the knees outward. Really nice. So you're flossing through the hip joints, the knee joints and the ankle joints as well, primarily through the hips here. Keep lifting up through the center of the body. So your pelvic floor is coming up, your lower belly is lifting and it's creating this, this upward energy. Good, take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Nice, one more deep breath in here. And then as you exhale, I'm gonna start to fold forward. So the toes will turn forward, the hands will come down towards the earth. If you need to bring your feet a little bit wider, you can do that so that your hands can come down. We're gonna start to make this wave through your spine. So as you inhale, straighten the arms, look forward, and then exhale, just bend your elbows and bring your your, the top of your head as far as you can towards the floor. And then do it again. Inhale, straighten the arms, look up. And then exhale, fold forward. So you're making this wave. Inhale, straighten the arms, look up. And then exhale, fold. Keep going through that. Balance the weight in your feet. So make sure that you're not dumping weight too far back, that you're instead shifting a little bit more forward as you press down into the balls of the feet. And what that does is it activates up through the front of the legs, giving you more stability like we talked about. Take that two or three more times there. Really nice. Inhale, halfway lift. Now bend both of your knees and start to shift the weight toward the right heel as you straighten out through the left leg. So it's sort of this mini side lunge here as you sit toward the right side, bending the left knee. And then switch as you bend the left knee, sit toward the left heel, straightening out through the right leg. Switching over to the right side, bending the right knee, sitting toward the right heel, left leg straightens. And then switch. And switch. Couple more times here. Keep the chest lifted, keep the gaze forward, and use the hands for stability so you can kind of shift the weight from side to side. Gorgeous. One or two more times here. And then back to center, legs straight, fold forward. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, hold on to your waist and press on up to stand. Lift, lift, lift. And then exhale, bring your feet about hips width distance apart. We're just gonna inch them in. Turn the toes out ever so slightly. Here's your move. We're gonna take it into a squatting position. So the, the hips and the knees will start to bend as we sit back and down toward the heels. Now you're gonna come down as far as you can. Some of you are all the way down towards your heels. Some of us don't have a deep squat yet because we're still a little bit tight. That's okay. We're gonna sit down as far as we can. And then we're gonna make this sort of squatting motion. As you press into the legs, you lean forward, swing the arms out sort of like an airplane, and then come back to the squat. Bend the knees, lift your chest up, bring your hands together. Press into the feet again. So my toes are turned out slightly. Make that airplane, the back is flat, the gaze is forward, and then bend the knees a little bit. Sit back as far and as deeply as you can. Come back into that pressing motion where you push down through the heels, straighten the legs out, lean forward, airplane the arms out, and then bend the knees, sit back down. Keep going through that a few more times. Notice the activation that has to happen in your legs in order to press the hips all the way up. Squeeze through your glutes as you get to the top as well. I want you to start to activate those powerhouses back there. Really, really nice, everybody. Creating some more heat down here in the legs. And we're gonna use that heat in a moment to get a little bit deeper into our stretches. So it's helpful, especially first thing in the morning, to build some heat before you try to do any sort of deep, deep stretching. Let's do two more of those. Come on, you got this. Once more. Amazing. Now come to that forward folding motion with your hands down, 
turning your toes forward, bend your knees if you need to. The feet are still about hips with distance apart. Round your back, slowly roll on up to stand, slowly, slowly. Roll the shoulders up and back, good. And then bring your feet together, arms by your sides. Bring your hands to prayer at your heart center and close your eyes here for just a moment. I want you to come back to your intention that you set for your practice today. And then relax your arms by your sides. Open up your eyes. Inhale, lift the arms up above your head. Strengthen the legs and then press your hands together. Exhale, fold forward. Bring the hands towards the earth. Bend your knees if needed. Try to touch the ground if you can and relax your neck. Inhale, halfway lift. Look up. And then exhale, hands down. Step back to a plank and then hold that high plank here for me for a couple of breaths. Spread the fingers, press the palms down. Rotate the elbows back and then press the ground away. Lengthen your heart forward. Draw in through your lower belly. Use your knees if you need to. Push back through your heels and try to lift up the back of the knees. Keep gazing forward. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Get stable, get strong as you inhale. Exhale. Good, breathe in. Breathing out. Inhale. Exhale. One more deep breath in here. Shift forward a little bit onto your tippy toes. And then exhale, slowly bend your elbows. Come all the way down onto your abdomen. Amazing work, everybody. Point your toes and then bring your hands down by your sides. Palms face up and bring your feet together. Press into the fingertips, press into your pelvis, press into your abdomen, and then inhale, lift up your head, chest, and feet. Finding a locust pose here. So your head is up, your chest is up, your feet are up. You're going to have to use your glutes, your legs, your back. Find that extension through your spine and lift everything up. This is something that's really, really good for your posture, especially if you spend a lot of time sitting or standing throughout the day too. Super helpful. Keep lifting, keep lifting. You wanna strengthen that posterior chain of the body here. Notice your lower back muscles activating. Notice your upper back muscles lifting a little bit higher. Breathe, lift, lift, lift. Yes, come on down. Put your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes, and let's come back to downward dog. Tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back. Find downward dog. And let's take five deep breaths here, all the way in through your nose. And breathe out your nose as you push your chest down toward your legs. Deep breath in. Breathe out as you reach through your shoulders. Inhale. Exhale to broaden the upper back. Inhale. Exhale, pull the front low ribs into your body. Inhale. Exhale, lift up through your lower belly. Inhale, strengthen the legs, push the knees back a little bit. And then exhale, bend your knees, look forward. Walk to the front of your mat, inhale. Feet can come together if, they, if that's comfortable for you. Look up and then exhale, forward fold. Press into your hands, relax the neck. Press into your feet now. Inhale, reach the arms up and look up. Hands together. Exhale, arms by your sides. One more time, please, everybody. Inhale, press into the feet. Reach up, look up. And exhale, fold forward. Navel lifts as the head comes down and the chest comes toward your legs. Inhale, the head up, look forward. Strengthen your legs. And then exhale, step back to the plank. Hold it. Feet or hips with distance apart. Hands or shoulder width distance apart. Lower belly is lifted, destabilized through the core. Gaze is forward so the neck stays long. Legs are strong and the heels push back. So there's energy lifting up through the back of the knees here. Elbows continue to rotate back as you press, press, press through the hands. And the upper back is kind of lifting up and rounding up towards the sky. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Twice more, please.
One more deep breath. Stay with it. And then slowly, slowly lower all the way to the earth. Great, great, great work. Point your feet. Keep them hips with distance apart this time. And start to press into your hands. Keep pressing. Keep lifting. Your pelvis may even come up off the floor here. So this is the highest cobra that you've taken all day. If you wish to take it into upward dog, I'm going to shift my feet forward a little bit. But then I'm going to press into my feet, pull the ribs through the arms, and then lift the knees up off of the ground. Keep pressing down into the feet. Try to soften the glutes a little bit and lift up through your chest. Take a deep breath in. And downward dog, everybody. Lift up through your navel, roll over the toes, and press the chest back to your legs. Five deep breaths. One. Good. Keep lifting through your lower belly. Two, expanding your upper back by breathing into the side ribs. Three, now breathe into that space in your upper back, right between your shoulder blades. Four, and then just soften your neck. Five, bend your knees, look forward to prepare. And then step or jump to the front of your mat. Look forward. Hands can come to the shins if you need to for that halfway lift. And then exhale, fold forward, hands down, head down. Stand up, inhale, press into your feet. Sweep the arms up, look up. And exhale, arms by your sides. Great job today. Hold your waist and spread your feet about hips width distance apart. Elbows go back, chest goes up. Breathe in. And then exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward, and catch onto your big toes with your peace fingers. Inhale, look forward, and then exhale, draw in through your navel and pull your chest down toward your legs. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. So you've got that strong yogi toe lock here, holding underneath the big toe with your peace fingers, and then your thumbs are pressing down into the big toenail, creating a nice strong foundation here. From there, you can push down with your feet and pull up with your hands. Ground the shoulders into your back. Continue to draw up through the lower belly and lift through the front of your hips as the chest goes toward your thighs. One more breath in. And a breath out. Really nice. Inhale the head up. Exhale, step on the hands. Palms up, fingers face you, and the toes go all the way onto the wrist crease. Bend your knees at home as much as you need to. Inhale the head up, and then exhale, press into your feet so the hips go up and pull with your hands so the ribs go to the thighs. Breathe in. Breathe out, broaden the upper back. Breathe in. Breathing out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, one more deep breath in, and all the way out. Inhale, look forward, let go of your hands, so step off of your hands, and we're just going to come to a comfortable seat, nice and easy. Start to bend your knees, sit down all the way, and come to a cross-legged seat, please. Sitting up nice and tall. Find a posture where you're sitting on the front of your sitting bones. Your skeleton is aligned, so your spine is upright. The top of your head is lifted. And then the hands can just rest somewhere on the legs. Close your eyes. I'd invite you to take a minute here in gratitude. What are you grateful for today? And then what's your intention for today? 
If you're practicing here with us live, it's Friday. It's July 30th. What is today going to be all about for you? What will you focus on today? And then what's one thing that you're looking forward to today? Amazing, everybody. Bring your hands to prayer at Heart Center. Bow your chin towards your chest in love and in light from my heart to yours. Namaste. Come down to lie down on your back, please. And take a couple minutes of rest before you go on with the rest of your day. I appreciate the time that we got to spend together this morning. Um, if you, I'm not sure who's on here, so drop a comment in the video. Let me know what's up. If you're not on my website already, drop a, drop your email on my website, peterlyonsyoga.com so that we can get connected and I'll try to get the camera figured out. We might try this again, uh, next week, but stay tuned. I'll let you know. See you soon.